What's up guys, Alex here with another video and the reason why I didn't make a video for the last two weeks was because I've been putting all my attention into League of Legends. Two days ago I just got to Silver Division 5 all the way from Bronze 4 so it's a really big accomplishment for me. If you guys want to duel with me in ranked uh, you can go ahead and add me. Um, my username is Alex Young Money. and anyways let's get back to the tutorial. So with the animated arrows originally I tried to make the shapes using the masking tool um, entirely and that apparently that took too long so what I did was um, basically I used a uh, letter the letter X and basically all you do is ma use the masking tool to cut this X in half and you already have your uh, arrow already made so it doesn't take that much work but a lot of the fonts in Sony Vegas don't really have that bold uh, kind of look for a much more thicked or thick uh, arrow so what we need to do is um, go to the description below and there's a font on link down and basically uh, this font provides a nice bold look for all the letters and also give you a bold looking arrow using this X right here so we're gonna go ahead and go back to Sony Vegas and after you download the font you just wanna go ahead and center your text and type in X and you wanna make sure that the font is to the font in the description below so as you can see it's a nice bold X and uh, what we're going to do next is go to the masking tools which is this little crop window right here and select mask and we're going to go ahead and zoom in let me just enlarge this a little bit and what we need to do is cut this X in half not exactly in half like this, but kind of make it so that it's pointing uh, in either direction. You can do this from this side or this side. So we're going to go ahead and start masking the X. So one point here, and we're going to go ahead and go to the other side of the X. Make another point there, and complete the arrow. And if you want to fine tune it, you can go to your uh, path and make sure feather type is in and make sure that the percentage is between 0.5 and 1. Alright, so now that we have our arrow, uh, we're going to go ahead and duplicate it. So, oh, but first before we duplicate it, you want to make sure that you're placing this where you want it to start. So if you want it to go from right to left or left to right, uh, you're going to want to make sure that it's pointing in the way you want it to go. So let's say I want, hold on, let's say I want it to go from left to right. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my crop tool, click the top keyframe, and we go ahead and rotate this around in the other direction. And next what I want to do is make sure that the arrow isn't starting in the middle, but rather is starting somewhere. Uh, a little bit to the left more. So I'm going to go ahead and make it start around here. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and create around five more video tracks, or four in this case. And then what we're going to do is uh, select the next frame option button. And we're going to go ahead and go ahead five frames. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to go ahead and hold control and click and drag this little text media up onto the new video track and create a new copy of the source media and then what we're going to do next is go to the crop option for the second uh, the second arrow that we created and we're going to go ahead and make it move to the left more and you're going to repeat this step until you get the uh, desired amount of arrows that you want. So in the video I use around 5 or 6, so that's usually how many uh, you want to create. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this video. As you know the steps, all you do is create a new text, uh, a new media. Go ahead 5 frames. Go into the crop option and you're going to go ahead and move it forward.
And after you've done that, what you want to do is shorten all of these excessive uh, media generators. So we're going to go ahead and cut all of these at one second. And then delete all the excess media generators that we don't need to use. Alright, so here's the tricky part. I kind of had trouble with this for some reason, but it's really, it's really simple. All you need to do is make sure that the, the first arrow that we created, it only lasts for 10 frames. So the last 5 frames of this first media generator, uh, we're going to fade it out. And you want to do the same for the other one. Make sure each media generator is 10 frame long. And then for each one, you want to go ahead and fade out the last 5 frames of the arrows. So after you've done that, this is basically what you should get. And if you want it to last longer, uh, basically what I did was um, I went ahead and rendered it out. So I'm going to go to render as. Go ahead and render this out. And basically all you do to make it repeat is alright basically all you do is duplicate the uh, the video that you rendered out and you want to go ahead and overlap 10 frames only no more no less so this is basically what you should get if you overlap it so I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and give it a comment. Uh, if you have any tutorial requests, um, please post them down in the comments down below or send me a private message. And I will see you guys next time.